work together, or at least tolerate each other. The great blue heron just patiently waits where the white heron actively fishes. Kind of interesting. Different tactics, they both survive.
Well, as we just saw, you know, obviously the great blue heron patiently waits, and the white heron or the great egret is actively luring fish out or luring fish in so he or she could strike. And yeah, what's pretty amazing is if you if you read here, it's like a recent 2015 report on they've observed, officially observed, I guess that's probably the key, that certain species, birds of prey, use a baiting tactic to, to you know, to catch their fish. And this was the first time they had seen a great egret or great egrets, plural. They have three cases here, like uh, the third instance here, uh, filmed in Dominican Republic. Great egret can be seen manipulating pieces of bread in a pond and finally catching a fish. And earlier they talk about using a piece of pizza crust, you know, to put it in the water and fish, little fish would come up and he'd grab them. So obviously they realize, hey, that's attracting fish, let's use it. And the discussion is interesting to qualify it as an active bait fishing behavior, the use by an animal of an edible bait or inedible lure item to attract and or distract fish in order to catch them, followed by a waiting period, some longer, some shorter, must be observed. Now, the bird with its feet kicking up little things, like the one commenter on, uh, you know, a couple of videos ago on the on the white heron invention, they do that, you know, to attract the fish. So it is a way of luring them by using debris, you know, little pieces of, of, of you know, little things that pop up, might be even little insects and little organisms and little pieces of uh, leaves and dirt that would attract fish. And or maybe it sometimes scares fish out in the open and either way, he or she, the great egret, can strike and get a fish because they can see him then. So I consider that also like a method of uh, bait fishing, although using, you know, not a piece of bread, but using um, the action of the foot to create an environment where fish would be attracted towards the great egret for their demise. Anyway, kind of interesting. I'll put a link to this PDF down in the description if anyone's interested. It's not that long. Oh, wow. Look at that beautiful bird right there. Catching some rays. Look at that is uh, at that place, the heron, the uh, great blue heron. Must be some good fish. Uh... In that waterway, but it goes down here a lot. Now we just stand over there where those bikers are. Cool area. Good morning.